All right, all right, everybody. Welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome to English Vocabulary and Pronunciation, here to help you communicate more clearly and with more confidence. As you continue your English improvement, we're here every week with several videos. So please remember to like and subscribe to the channel if you find this vocabulary review useful. Today's category is part two of restaurant, things you find in a restaurant. And we've got 34 words and pronunciation of things that you find in a restaurant. So let's get started. Number one is restaurant dining room dining room the dining room is your place where you sit when you eat your dinner or your meal could be breakfast could be lunch could be dinner but that's called the dining room some are very casual some are very formal but where we sit and we eat is called the dining room number two is dinner Dinner. Dinner is the meal that we have in the evening, the last meal of the day. After breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, we have dinner in the evening. Dinner. Dinner, making me hungry already. I should have eaten before I started this lesson. Number three is dish. Dish is also another word that we use for meal. So. The white plate that we eat off of is often called a dish, but the actual meal is called a dish. So we can say, this is my favorite dish. This is my favorite dish. I love, oh, this is a signature dish. It means it's the one that's most popular or most famous signature dish. Number four is dishwasher, dishwasher. Someplace back in the kitchen, they have to clean all of the plates and the glasses and the silverware, the forks, the knives, the spoons, and they use the dishwasher. That's a machine. Sometimes a dishwasher is also referring to the person who runs the dishwashing machine. They're also called the dishwasher. Number five is doggy bag. What's a doggy bag? Doggy bag is when you can't finish your meal and you want to take, you want to take the remainder of your meal home with you. So you ask for a doggy bag. It's where you put your leftover food so that you can take it with you. So you don't waste it. You ask the waiter or waitress for a doggy bag, doggy bag. Number six is Salad dressing, salad dressing. So the dressing is what goes on top of the vegetables in the salad to usually make it taste better. So what we're pouring out of this jar is called dressing or salad dressing. Number seven. It's a pretty easy one, but let's just practice the pronunciation eggs. Eggs. Eggs are usually for breakfast, but they're also used in cooking many different types of dishes. These are known as eggs. Sometimes they're brown, they're white, they're different sizes. Eggs. Number eight. Is entree. Number eight is Entree. Hmm. Entree is a French word. It means the main dish. An entree usually has nothing else with it. It's just one type of item on the plate. That's called the entree. Number nine is fish. Fish. Fish is seafood, obviously seafood. Fish is a very healthy dish, depending on how you prepare it. It can be grilled, 
It can be broiled, it can be fried. Fish. I want to show you something else. Fish tank. Sometimes when we go to a restaurant, we can choose the fish that we want to eat. We can choose the fish that we want to eat, or sometimes the fish is just there for decoration. But you can see that sometimes you can choose the live fish and they'll prepare the fish that you choose. So that's from the fish tank. Number 10 is fork. Fork. Fork is what we use to eat with, fork. Number 11 is French fries. French fries are made from potatoes and these are called French fries. French fries, very delicious with ketchup or mayonnaise or whatever type of sauce you choose to put on top. French fries. Number 12 is fruit, fruit. Fruits include, there's lots of kind of fruits. We see watermelon, banana, orange, pineapple, pear, grapefruit, apple, strawberry, grapes, so many different types of fruit. Number 13 is glass. Glass is what you drink your beverage from. Any kind of beverage is a glass. This is different from a cup. We talked about cup on the previous videos, but a cup is different from a glass and different from a mug. But this is what we will get if we ask for a glass. Number 14 is gourmet. It's another French word that we use in English, gourmet just means really fancy. Usually gourmet food is more expensive. And a lot of times you get smaller portions, but gourmet just is a, is a word that means fancy, fancy. Number 15 is grilled. How would you like your food prepared? If the food is prepared over fire, over a flame, it's called grilled, grilled. Just cooking with fire means grilled. Number 16 is hamburger, hamburger. I think we're all familiar with hamburgers, I hope, or possibly not. Some people don't eat meat, so you would not have a hamburger, but you could also have a vegetarian hamburger. If you're vegetarian, you can have uh, a patty that's made out of maybe soy products and different vegetables that actually taste very good. It's very delicious. could be a vegetarian hamburger or just a regular beef hamburger. Number 17 is high tea. High tea is like in between lunch and dinner. It's in the middle of the afternoon where you have small snack food and you have tea and you have like little cakes and pastries and cookies maybe a drink that's called high tea high tea let's see number 18 can be hard to pronounce look at number 18 at the top of the list here how do you pronounce that? Number 18 is pronounced hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres. And hors d'oeuvres basically are finger food, food that you eat, can eat in one bite. You eat it with your hands, usually. Something small and tasty, maybe at a party. You might have hors d'oeuvres hors d'oeuvres, also known as finger food. Number 19.
is hostess. Hostess is the person when you walk into a restaurant and they will ask how many people are dining and you'll say party of four or two or ten. The hostess will hand you the menu and show you to your table. So she will help you to your table and make your visit to the restaurant pleasurable and comfortable hostess. Number 20 is ice cubes. Ice cubes. If you want your drink to be cold, then you will put ice cubes into your drink to make it cold ice cubes. Number 21 is ingredients. Ingredients. If you're cooking a meal and you need a variety of different things to put into your meal, those are called ingredients. Ingredients. Number 22 is ketchup. Ketchup. Ketchup is made from tomatoes. Comes in a bottle sometimes. Many popular brands of ketchup, but it's kind of like a tomato sauce, but it's a little sweeter. And we usually use this for French fries and hot dogs and hamburgers. Uh, we can put ketchup on all kinds of things. Ketchup. Number 24 is knife. This word starts with a K, but it's pronounced with an N sound. Knife. Knife. So we use a knife to cut things, to slice things, to chop things. Knife. Number 25 is a type of drink is lemonade. Lemonade is a, is a drink that's made from lemons and sugar and ice and water. Lemonade is very refreshing. So it's kind of sweet and kind of sour. Lemonade. Number 26 is a popular vegetable for salad. And that is lettuce. This is called lettuce. As I said, lettuce is good to put into a salad or on top of a burger, lettuce. On a sandwich, lettuce. Number 27 is lunch. Lunch. Lunch is the middle meal of the day. It's in between breakfast and dinner. So the second meal of the day, usually sometime in the early afternoon, we have lunch. Lunch. Number 28 is main course. If you go to a restaurant, maybe you have hors d'oeuvres, maybe you have an appetizer or a starter or a salad or a soup. But the main meal is also called the main course. It's the main dish, the main meal, the main course. Number 29, also a French word that we use in English. Is mater d. Mater d. The mater d is usually the gentleman at the restaurant who might be an older gentleman. And he's kind of like the host or the manager of the restaurant. He's the maitre d. Maitre d. Number 30 is manager. The person in charge of the restaurant makes all the decisions, talks to the kitchen, talks to the host and hostess and the waiter and waitress. He is the manager. He's the boss of the restaurant manager. So many businesses have managers and that means also restaurants have managers. 
Number 31 is meal. Meal is very simple. It just means what you choose to eat is your meal. Your meal. Number 32 is meat. Meat, there's different types of meat. There's beef, and there's chicken, there's pork. Those are all different types of meat. Some of us don't eat meat. We just eat vegetables. Number 34 is menu. Menu is a list that you read. It shows you everything that the restaurant has to offer. So you select your meal by looking at the menu. The menu. And number 34 is milk. Milk. Milk is a drink. There's a glass of milk. Comes from a cow or a goat. Sometimes we use milk in other products like butter and cheese. Or we can just drink milk. If you are not vegan, you can have milk. So that's it for today. 34 words related to things that you find in a restaurant. Some of this vocabulary you may know. It's just a quick review. If you find this useful, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. We do videos about three times a week. So there's always new vocabulary. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. We would be happy to answer any questions that you might have. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Here's a couple new videos. So take care for now. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.